International law. It's yeah. international law. Because that's like Lumumba. Uh, Wasn't that Lumumba and all them? Uh, no, we're talking about de de you're talking decolonization. Right, right. Around the globe, you're saying, yeah. right? Yes. So, but when you see the murders that have been taking place, that's the Europeans breaching their obligation. Right, right. And this is where Nixon and all them come in, and even with Kennedy, when he tried to counter the cabal, and he did the executive order, I think it was 1111 or something like that, 1111, something like that. Yeah, 1111. One, 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 oh, something like that. It's four zeros, I mean, four yeah. ones and a zero. One, yeah, all right. That's the restoration of the gold clause. That's the abrogation that Lincoln dealt with. Yeah. You understand? So they killed him too. Do you understand? Now, and, and so, you'll see a continuation of them in breach. And this is where um, the Pope is talking about um, their, their obligation to the, uh, the treaties and the Constitution. But again, when you understand this is what Noam Chomsky then told you all to do in the first place. But the Moors haven't been doing their job. So now, the Asiatic nations got to step in to save them themselves from us and our negligence. You understand that we don't know because we're busy trying to be believers. When we supposed to be knowers. Anyway, let's go with this. Let's go with this. Ancient. Ancient or Mexican? Modern. Africa. Contemporary. Is it hidden? No. No. It's just that people can't read. And they know that. You know what they say about these people? You want to hide something from them? Put it in a book. Put it in a book. Or you put a pile of doo doo right here. And it's like, <laughs> let's examine this to see if this is peanut butter. And then we start arguing whether it's peanut butter. Well, I believe, according to Ebonics, that it could be peanut butter. Everybody else said, Stinks. <laughs> Where'd you get that? Off the lawn. And we sit debating things that an intelligent person would just automatically recognize. We just debate things that are not debatable. So can you explain why they say that? Can you explain why they say the nation is named after America Vespucci? Now this is the, now this is why it's important to no history. What is the tradition of Romans when they conquer a land? But they name or conquer people. They would add the name of the land to their name. That's right. Like a trophy. Turn it around. Now, now, now say that again. Say what? Any question? No, no, again. I want you, I want you to give you some words. Ex explain why they, they say that the nation is named after Amerigo Vespucci. Now, what happens when you do research on Amerigo Vespucci? You will find that he sailed from the city of Cadiz, mm. Mm -hmm. where Moors rule, yep. to test the maps that already existed on the planet mm -hmm. to find this strange place that they've never been. Of course, when they started sailing these guys and everything, it was cool, you know, he's sailing and stuff. <laughs> then somebody spied a dolphin. Damn! Oh, did you see that? No, I didn't see that. Whoa, whoa, wow, man. Then they seen a whale. Oh shit. <laughs> Mutiny. <laughs> Is it not true? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they brought millions of people on the ships, right? Yeah, right. People buy anything. What are the ships? Now, so do the research on America's West Beauty. You'll see he sailed from the city of Cadiz. Then look up Cadiz and you see there's more or so. Duh. We don't know our history. This is what I'm saying. Once you, 
Once you stop buying what the Romans tell you and do some research, you'll see it's B S. <laughs> but they're going to tell you about Jesus, God, Muhammad, and everything. They don't even know that Muhammad is Jesus' cousin. But they'll tell you they're different religious guys. Yeah. And people fall for that too. <laughs> We're out to lunch. Because we keep believing in Rome. 1902. Didn't they murder Winona in Philadelphia? Shaka Moxon. And you can still maintain the streets. Shaka Moxon. And then, what did they do after that? They set up the General Education Board, John D. Rockefeller and Frederick T. Gates, with a specific directive to dumb these heinies down. They even told you that they're going to dumb your children down. And these people keep delivering their children to them. So I'm like, I got a degree. <laughs> a degree in dummy. <laughs> Yeah. I'll get back with you, brother. I'm doing a class right now, but I'll receive the mail, everything, and the report. I'll get right back to you. Yeah, I'm sorry, brother Isaiah, and I had I think brother Isaiah, right. you got no, but a sister in front of you in, in, uh, in the green turban, I think. Beloved, you had a question or something you wanted to say? Oh, uh, excuse me. Yeah, now, right um, where was I? Oh, she has a question. Hold on for a minute. Um, Go ahead, brother. Keep on, keep on talking. Fill in, because I'm looking for something. Yeah, I mean, no. I Isaiah, mean, tell your story. What happened when you went to the when you went to the uh, store and expressed who you were? Oh. So we went to uh, the gas station, get gas. Then uh, the guy was like, um, "What are you?" And I was like, <laughs> "What are you?" I'm a Moor. What are you? And he was like. Oh, my buddy, okay, take whatever you want, like that. <laughs> um, I was like, you for real? He was like, yeah, take whatever, what do you mean, buddy? So I went and grabbed a whole bunch of uh, <laughs> chips, <laughs> and rubies, cake, pie, uh, and then he was like, tell your friend, buddy, yeah, hurry up, go, go. And um, after that, like, my, my mother was in the car, everybody, it's like, how do you get all this stuff? Because I didn't have no money. I just had to go pay for the gas. And then, and we had no fiat. Yeah, yeah so I had you no know fiat. Some of y'all woke up. Yeah. yeah. It, you know, it's like we're holding up the world. Yeah. Rex 84, King Alfred, Executive Order 11490. Military manual, basically top secret. But of course, you know, we get stuff. Anyway. <laughs> no, at their book, and this is for. Ask them to ask questions on facts, all right? Stop asking questions on what you believe and start reading. Do some scholarship. Know that at the appropriate time to be designated by the president, the leader of some of these organizations ought to be detained only when it is clear that they cannot prevent the emergency. Working with local public officials during the first critical hours, all other leaders ought to be detained at once. Compile list of minority leaders have been ready at the National Data Computer Center. It is necessary to use the minority leaders designated by the president in much the same manner in which we use minority members who are what, y'all? Agents with central and federal. And we cannot until there is no alternative reveal King Alfred in all his aspects. Minority members of Congress will be unseated at once. This move is not without precedent in American history. Pay attention to this next paragraph. All right? Attorney General, preliminary memo of the Department of Defense. This memo is being submitted in, in lieu of a full report from the Joint Chiefs of Staff. That report is now in preparation. There will be many cities where the minority will be able to put into the street a superior number of people with a desperate and dangerous will. He will be a formidable enemy. Why? For he is bound to the continent yes. by heritage and knows that political asylum will not be available to him in other countries. The greatest concentration of the minority is in the Deep South, the Eastern Seaboard, the Great Lakes region, and the West Coast. 
So these minorities who think they came from someplace else because they're black leaders keep telling them that military document, you're bound to this continent by heritage, which means you ain't came from no damn where except out your head. Now again, do you understand the Dungeon case? And the whole world knows this but you. And as soon as you start talking about came from someplace else, you just gave up your estate. Go ahead, April. She, she just said to me. Go ahead, Francesca. Give the mic. Brother Truth. She can say too. Mike, right here. Francesca. Give her a sing. This is the left of the night. Francesca. Francesca. Islam. 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 I think it's got to be turned on, I'm sorry. Islam. 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 Alright, so I was just thinking about the questionnaire. Yes. And it asks us the question, why are we more Americans? Yes. And then the answer is, because we are descendants of Moroccans and, and born, born in America. America. Yes. So I was just thinking when you said about America, how you were saying America is not a country. No. Yet this it's is a world. continent. It's a continent. Or We're the heirs of the estate. Heirs of the estate. I just wanted to make sure because it seems See, like you he's, were in America. He's, he's, he's telling us in what you call an elementary <coughs> format and then prepares you by saying the half has not been told. If I told you everything, you'd go back to sleep. Then he says, where is the Moroccan Empire? Northwest of Mexico. So where's Northwest of Mexico? North of America. Exactly. George Washington's letter. I got the See how, when you start studying, it's all confirmed. Mm -hmm. See, but the book on the surface in, in the teens and the 20s were the people who were still getting lynched. They seem compact, small, and not too threatening. But they're nuclear education books once you take them past their elementary degrees. Do you understand? And he said what? Go back to that state of mind of your ancient mothers and fathers. What do you do? You're going to find out all this information. And what do you say? Study. Study well. And when you would have studied well and would ask me what to study next, I would reply, answer that. Get in your mic. Get in your mic. When you would have studied well and would ask me what to study next, I would reply. Study yourself. Well, and as soon as you do, you're going to find out why the European rules, the German Dutch, you'll understand why liberty sits in the bay of New York at 189 degrees, true east. Virgo, come on. Science. You know, it's, you know it's seven spires over her head. Science. Copper plate on iron, mm -hmm. given by the Franciscan Brotherhood to the Europeans in the West for conquering the Corsairs, Moors. Mm -hmm. Then they have their little marches and, 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 and they have their rituals in their little lodges with the little Corvette cars, which are more ships, little ships. They told you yesterday. Well, the prophet told you too. They didn't believe him, did they? So now the Pope's backing him up. They ain't got too much choice, because things are collapsing. Mm -hmm. Now, Jim Drew said, the day is going to come, you'll be walking down the street, you see a $20 bill mm -hmm. on the ground, and you won't waste your time bending over to pick it up. That's right. He's talking about right now, it's getting ready to happen to you. Didn't he tell them more to get their finance out of the bank? Yep. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. And those who didn't lost it, didn't they? Mm -hmm. And we tell people last 10 years, I was doing resolution 2847. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So get their finance out of the bank. Mm -hmm. Now they ain't got no retirement funds. Now those bank accounts belong to the Jesuits. They're going to try to take over $300 at a time and see what happens. Oh yeah. Treat you like a criminal because it ain't your account. And later on they're going to try to confiscate it. And they wouldn't be getting that if it wasn't for the Manchurian Masons. 
You gotta understand what's really happening in the real background. Now, while these rules keep on playing around with their Negro black stuff, they don't know they're getting ready to get killed off. Let's go a little further and see the Zero Report. Everything out um, So even before 1954, now keep in mind this is the time that, that um, Dwight D. Eisenhower was relinquishing jurisdiction at Morocco, mm -hmm. right? And this was officially done in 56 after this. So when the Supreme Court of the United States of America declared unconstitutional separate education and recreation facilities, racial unrest and discord had become very near part of the American way of life. But that way of life was repugnant to most Americans since 1954. However, the unrest and discord has broken out into widespread violence, which increasingly have placed the peace and stability of the nation in dire jeopardy. This violence has resulted in loss of life, limb, and property, and has cost the taxpayers of this nation billions of dollars. And the end is not yet in sight. The same violence has raised a tremendously grave question as to whether the races can ever live in peace with each other. Each passing month has brought new intelligence that despite new laws passed to alleviate the condition of the minority, the minority still is not satisfied. Demonstrations and rioting have become a part of the familiar scene. Troops have been called out in city after city across the land and our image as a world leader severely damaged. Our enemies press closer seeking an advantage, possibly at a time during one of these outbreaks of violence. The minority has adopted an almost military posture to gain its objective, which are not clear to most Americans. It is expected, therefore, that when those objectives are denied the minority, racial war must be considered inevitable. When that emergency comes, we must expect the total involvement of all 22 million members of minority men, women, and children. For once this project is launched, its goal is to terminate once and for all the minority threat to the whole of the American society and, and indeed the free world, Chairman of the National Security Council. That's what they plan on doing. Terminating you. Tired of this nigger stuff, marches and everything, and these people keep on following these nigger leaders out there marching and stuff, they don't know, they get ready to start exterminating them. So the deal with it is you don't hold them, if you don't hold them to the law, and you're under them black codes, you're expendable. Now this is a fact. It's military doctrine. This is what they're plotting while our people sit around talking about black jobs, black lives matter type stuff, following behind George Soros. Do you understand? So in case of emergency, minority members will be evacuated from the cities by federalized National Guard units. So don't you follow them because they're going to take you to them camps. That's what they plan to do. This is where the Manchurians have been stepping in. This is why some of the things haven't taken place already. This was their plan. Mm -hmm. Are we clear? Yes. <coughs> um, anyway, local and state police, and if necessary, by units, the regular armed forces using public and military transportation and detained in nearby military installations until further course of action has been decided. And that's where you see all of these um, actually maps. And these maps are actually uh, mostly women's prisons and stuff like that. They're actually concentration camps. They're concentration camps with instructions. Now, of course, hey, Taj, I had a question for you. Go ahead. Uh, I was looking at uh, YouTube about all these Walmarts that they're closing and they supposedly are going to be using them as like a detention center. Of course, it's most of them have tunnels underneath. I've heard some of your major, so that's why when you see some of them closed down, but they were, they weren't closed down, but they were fenced in. 
is because they, they're, gonna, they're still going to start using uh, food as a control weapon. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why while they warned you ahead of time, they said they're going to try to starve you out and your brothers are going to come from the east to rescue you. Now remember, most of the stuff don't have to take place, it's just that we've been busy playing Negro and Black, mm -hmm. while the Europeans have been entrenching themselves, and we've been following behind black leaders in the name of our different fake dogmas calling them religions. Mm -hmm. And while we've been playing around, the European has been entrenching himself. And this is what he was happening. You know, so the Manchurians are stepping in. Since he already know that most of these grand sheiks done betrayed the prophet. And most of the people who don't read don't know that they have. And so that they, they're incompetent. They sit around still talking black. You, you, and why they get robbed and abused. And they have been forced to have y'all into it. And they have to enforce the additional constitutional bylaws, but the rest of the world ain't waiting while we keep on playing games. Because now their economies are collapsing. You see? See, so when, it, when as that's taking place, people can't keep faking it anymore. Because now, just like when you when you've seen all those ships off the coast of um, uh, uh, Longport, Long Beach, and um, Los Angeles, mm -hmm. two, two large ports, a lot of them got, what, supplies from last Christmas. Mm -hmm. Not this Christmas, but other women. <laughs> you, you understand? Because they're not accepting United States Treasury bonds anymore. And so, meanwhile, they're negotiating in the background with um, a, a gold back and precious metal, or what you call actual commodity back trading notes. And this is where you see the, the IMF, which is really belongs to the United States Service Corporation, trying to do digital stuff because they already know them bonds aren't accepted so they can still rob the people and have control because they're being removed. You gotta understand what's really taking place in the real politics. But all of this stuff's gonna be taught to these people by the grand sheets and the system grand sheets and the more side stuff because they're the ones who was assigned to do this. And our people are, are behind the eight ball sitting around talking about beliefs and they get ready to get exterminated. Looking for a J-O-B, they ain't getting no J-O-B. They get ready to get caught. And they're sleeping. Thinking, well, next year we're going to get jobs and the economy's improving. <laughs> Don't you go to them camps because you ain't coming out. And you take them children to school and let them stick them with them needles. Cancer viruses. <laughs> that catch them later. Giving them Down syndrome and every day ain't nothing else. They got mercury, barium, and everything else like that. And every every second person got cancer viruses in them already. Yes. Already. And they sit around talking about their beliefs. This is, you know, it's like we've been playing around and we can really pay a dear price. Yeah. We are. And a lot of the damage is already done. But what we can do is maybe try to save some of the next generation. That's why Drawley said, come from the young and the young born. The old people go if they want to, because they already know these people are compromised. Yeah. He said, Tom's going to come. He says, um, you're going to see a man on the street. And children are going to run home to their mom. He said, Mommy, I saw a man. For real. And, and if you think, there it is, it's not. Mm -hmm. Now, and, and these people, it's sort of like it's happening to them. They even in Chicago right now, they're harvesting. And these people only know it's harvesting going on. Yeah, they're not without power right They're now. harvesting, they're stealing organs. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's what, they, that's what most of the young males, they're stealing organs for Europeans. And then the, the um, medulla and the, the um, spinal cord stem. You said they're stealing organs. Yeah. Yes. You saw the movie Get Out? They're harvesting. Huh? Did you see the movie Get Out? Get out. No, I, I got the movie, I didn't get a chance to look at it. All it's, it's, a, oh. it's a movie when they had a European family and the European girl had an Asiatic boyfriend, but they were using Asiatics for their organs. Whoa. They would have like, um, like uh, auctions on what they want. Like, Aren't they telling like, you, don't they, remember we said earlier the European actually tells these people what they want to do to them? This is an Asiatic They removes the carbon debt. Huh? It came out like probably a month ago. Mm -hmm. But he, he's he's mixed because his mom's a European and his father's Asian. It doesn't matter. It's the blood they need. See, it's the melanin. Mm -hmm. 
It's and his girlfriend's European. I'm like, wow. It's, it's the melanin they need. I try to say that follow was mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no
near the corporation in New York, they having trouble getting home because, you know, you're going to work, you're commuting, you, you, you're having trouble getting back to your destination because the trains aren't running. And they was running down so many lists of the numbers, I mean, the letters of the trains, I said, well, that's pretty much all of them. And uh, the new corporate California, Los Angeles, they got hit really, really hard, you know. Uh, so it's not people saying it's EMP, uh, electrical magnetic pulse, but if it was, they try to blame that Russia. Uh, yeah, that everybody electrical. but them. Yeah, it, 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 like Doc, no like you were saying, the distractions. No one's accepting right. the bonds. Right, and the bonds, those bonds are the, actually those bottom instruments you hear Todd talk about, the marriage certificate, the birth certificate. Uh, when you fill out an application for a job or yeah, do that, yeah you, you do that uh, 1040, all that's all the uh, bank bonds, what they call it, they talk in, uh, on Wall Street is derivatives. Uh, we derivatives on the bus. We, you, know, you look on the internet, you look on YouTube, you see all the derivatives. But they talk about the buyer interest that's back against us. So every time I see that, I see they're talking about us because we're the heirs. It's all been, you know, civil orders bleed it out. It's all been put on our backs. Uh, all that debt. So when you talk about the national debt, we the nationals, but we're not in our proper person. So you know. Now and this is where the Pope is saying right. that no debt, no promise, no encumbrance, right? The restoration of the estate, right, right. Because this right. is back to right. them converting. And this is why when we did the class last time, we did on breach, we did on belligerent trustees mm -hmm. and conversion, because that's what they've been doing. They've been converting their private debt onto you right. and telling you you have debt. Right. Is why people are selling packages, keep telling these people that they got debt out there and they got to use CCs and all that stuff. That's BS. The debt is not yours, it belongs to the private United States Service Corporation. Not you. Do you understand? That's right. What's up, Bring your baby no beer. Looking just like you, too. No, he could up, baby. So if you can, you know, learn how to filtrate water, you know. Uh, Look at just like some, uh, uh, you know, they got ceramic filters and they got candle tall filters. You can, you can filter. You can get yourself cans, trash cans. You can get yourself two, you know, those barrels. That I know you guys probably see all those barrels that be out on the uh, on the highway, different places, different stores might have like the water barrels. They blue. Yeah. I'll stand like this tall. Yeah. Get two of them and drill a hole in the middle and put your filter in there and let it. Gravity drip down and you can have fresh water. Trust me, I'm living off this now. I don't live on the grid. I don't, I, my heat is, hit, is heated by uh, a long wood stove I installed myself. I had to learn, I didn't know how to do none of these things. Yeah. I learned everything by default. My solar panels I learned by default. I have the big ones and I have the small ones. I call mini me's, which is like, uh, I use PPC pipe. I showed you one of them times. Yeah. And uh, and far as uh, my water filtration, I got it coming from my drain spout into my house, into a, uh, a, a hose running into the uh, barrel, and then I have an overfill unit on it, so when it gets overfilled, it goes right back out, right down the drain. So it takes about a week, a little over a week for it to gravity drip down, and so once the bottom barrel, they go 55 drum uh, 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 barrels, so once it drums, uh, gets down to the bottom, I, mean, I just go into my kitchen and just turn on the water, and I got fresh purified water, and I'm gonna tell you something, I have never tasted water so good Cleaner. until Cleaner. I, I, I did that. I will never, and you will never go back to drinking from the system. And don't let the bottle of water fool you either. It's rat poison in that. It's toxic. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So when you think you're going to the store getting filtered water bottle of water, you're drinking rat poison. Yeah. And so you're yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're drinking the tap water, and you're not, you don't know how to really purify it. You're doing and the same thing. And PVCs that leach off the plastic. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's why these other countries don't allow them to, to, to put it in plastic, they put it in jars, that's right. Or bottles, yes. you know. Because they already know it's war it's it's actually biological warfare. Yeah, yeah. Same way with the chemtrails. Like, well, we'll, yeah. you know, the same with the chemtrails with the barium aluminum and titanium. Yes. Titanium uh, 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 the minerals that they got up in there. And it's like they call it execution runs. When you're yes. spraying that up there and they actually practice it. See what I'm I'm, I'm bringing this all to you because it's not actual uh, it's a war on us, but they, what they're doing is they tested where the people are. Yeah. They kind of tested, so they did this the psychic attack, so they could prepare you, and then they also warning you with propaganda, so you manifest it, because man is lying, so you manifest it, you see it enough, and then they keep putting it out there, so it keeps you in fear, because what they're doing, if you don't, don't look at it as in fear, look at it as in preparation. So if they're talking about EMP, well, let's prepare for that. And they feed, they feed off it. Yeah, yeah, they they feed feed yeah. Mm -hmm. so they're so, mm -hmm. yeah. 
And they really, and that's really real. Ties is right. They're vampires. They can suck up your energy and not be in the same room with you. Yeah. You know, especially if they're around you, and if they touch you, you know, you know, they shake your hand, or hug you, they can draw energy from you because they're vampires. You know, the whole thing is they don't want you to wake up and realize who you are because once you do that, their game is completely over, and it's an extinction level event for them. Extinction level event for them. You gotta imagine they've been building everything off of lies and off that fiat, which is gold or any drugs that DOD on it, government or his department was the gold or they they, they robbing the gold. Alan trying to, you know, uh, uh, function it through the oil and then doing that with the, you know, robbing that from that. And, uh, and the drugs, which is the uh, heroin that they're bringing up from Afghanistan under the Hillary Clinton Foundation and the Bill Clinton Foundation and the uh, uh, Bush Foundation. And that's, they all are they all part of the uh, cabal. You know, it's, it's, a big, it's a big war going on, so we have got to wait a lot of us not going to make it. I know that right now when I when I when I come outside every day I know a lot of us like Ty used to say most of us going it, well, it's already laid out it's, it's already documented. A lot of us are not gonna make it. Even if we are conscious and in our proper person, we still might not make it. And so I love this brother right here. He comes here every every time to teach us all and a lot of stuff that he say is redundant because he, 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 he don't want to go too far in front because we, he got to see where our heads are so we can go to that next level. If we still stuck on one level to three, we'll never get there. We're running out of time. We're actually out of time. And so that's how I know a lot of us are not going to make it because even if we're in our proper person, because we have to start applying what we know. It's on. I agree. You know? And so start paying attention a little more. I know we got busy lives, but take time out of your life to stop and do your research on the things that the brother has been giving you and cross-reference it. Just don't take his word for it. Cross-reference it so you can see. And it's going to lead you right back to what he's saying is true. But you need to see that with your own eyes because he didn't send you. It has to become yours. Yeah, it's didn't send you. See, once he comes from here and then goes to here, then you can just... Because remember, as soon as this information comes out, you're going to have counter-actions oh, yeah. by traitors that's going oh, yeah. to try to steer you away from oh, yeah. it. I'm going to tell you that this stuff is a fraud, oh, yeah. etc. But keep this in mind. So um, Eisenhower relinquished the jurisdiction, which you all, all know, because this is the, the major point of what we're talking about tonight. So now Eisenhower is German and Dutch, and what you need to do when you start dealing with the Europeans, mention their nationality. Right. Don't just talk European. about them as if they're Americans, because they're not. Right. So the German Dutch European. The white, the Eisenhower, mm -hmm. exercising the executive powers vested in the seat of president of the United States Corporation Company, originally established in France, 1754, by the European <coughs> Benjamin Franklin. Eisenhower relinquished jurisdiction in Morocco via memorandum mm -hmm. issued by himself on September of 19. And 56. And thereafter, all pending consular court cases were disposed of by the year 1960. Mm. References made to the same by a bulletin of the State Department posted in volume 35.909 on page 844. Now, keep in mind when you're looking at that, then the grand chiefs and assistant grand chiefs were supposed to actually, before this even took place, they were putting the power to make law and enforce law. And so, if they were doing so, you would already be aware of consular court, and it would have already been active, and the more science temples of America are really regencies, and they should be carrying out the law, and it's clear that they have not. So, we're giving you the information, and you can't say that you have not been told, and you can keep following after these traitors, and lose your estate, because that's what they're doing, they're liquidating everybody's estate. If you own a house, they're coming after you. I don't care whether you paid or not, yes. but you ain't paid crap. Yes. Would you doing transferring on bookkeeping? Yes. Because fiat is not money, yes. and it cannot be discharged. And this is where this is why they killed Traficon for exposing that. Mm -hmm. And then we will go over Traficon's letter, put it in context, and then close out. But I want you to, you know, for those, I was actually looking for the, the travel book so I could show you a picture of, of Hillary Clinton. Mm -hmm. Driver's license fraud book. No, no, the right travel book. Oh, okay. I got it in, in here. I got so many files. Okay. And I have to keep on looking because I got unpublished stuff and published stuff. 
Yeah, me either. Um, but anyway, um, the picture with Hillary Clinton in front of the flags. Yeah, yeah, where she's speaking from the Ben Franklin room. Yeah, I could probably find it. You could, I don't know. Yeah, that was on Yeah. Well, if you if, if, uh, come in and, 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 and um, Bluetooth it to the computer and we can put it, we can show it on, on here. Really? Yeah. Because usually Dr. Knowledge brings her, her hot box in here, yeah, her hot spots right there. It's there. The hot spot, yes, yeah, it's on Saturday. Yeah, it's right is, it on, is, is it here? Yes, it's right here. Which one is it? Um, T Mobile. Which, which one is it? It's T Mobile. Go up to. T Mobile. Go up to. This one? Right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got you on now, Jack. Hold on. It's coming. Still turning, green button, still turning. Well, yeah, you got the video. Exactly. If you said it wasn't able to connect. Okay, you can scratch it. It connect. So, to the Let me see. Is it on? You're on. 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 You said we can send it to you Bluetooth? Yeah, I probably did. I got it on the phone, but I think you can probably just pull it out. All right. You got the Google word. Okay. Is it you ain't on the charge? Or Mom speaks for Egypt? Oh, that, that, that'll come up too. Yeah, both of them. You know, we have a connection. See, now you gotta put your thing in. What the, the code? That's not Xfinity. Wow. It keeps switching up. So what you're talking about is largely, you know, that. Right. Um, and, and I do think it is important for us to know that right. all of the things that's going on with us here on our own land is due to us not having a free... Yeah government mm -hmm. so we're not freely governing our mentals so we're we're forcing our own selves to mental servitude by expecting someone else to do for us when we could just literally loom our own cotton if we grew it we actually learned how to grow the car you know the cotton and loom the cotton and do our own sewing you know and things like of that nature because the the earth is yielding a lot like Cotton is something we can wear. It grows out of the earth. Mm -hmm. You know, the water we have to drink comes from the sky. Like, I mean, we have everything we need. Mm -hmm. it, you know, I mean, the planet does yield that. That's why the prophet uh, said that we are, you know, rich. Mm -hmm. he, said, he said, children, you are rich. Mm -hmm. I'm paraphrasing, so, so I agree be, with that. We should be producing instead of consuming. Indeed. Indeed. Well, we were merchants. When we did check our history, we were merchants. Exactly. And we usually took what we could get that was yielded from the planet. And say, I don't know, like a mother Anna Ida had said one time, you know, you grow garlic, you make your own garlic powder, you can sell your own garlic powder. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? And that comes from the earth. You didn't have to make an initial investment or anything or do a articles of incorporation with the state of corporations to start your garlic powder business. You know, it's just, it's there. It's our birthright. So, yeah. So I just wanted to say I wholeheartedly agree with that. And we can have self-sustaining things for ourselves all the way down to the electricity. Right. I mean, the sun gives us enough energy to power the planet for billions of years. We just have to put our mind outside of the mental slavery of things being done for us and be the mothers and fathers of civilization that we really are right. by birthright. Right. And then just realize that everything that exists on the planet is because of us. This technology is old. Yeah. Even down to your cell phone, it's it's really old, and, and uh, I think I'm in, um, in indeed. I think in uh, one of the videos, Brother Taj has his microprosopus video, and I think he mentioned it today about us having lights. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like 400 years before yeah. they were anywhere else, and people are like going crazy about now. I'm not knocking Nikola yeah. Tesla, and you know the Chicago Fair, right? right? That you know that was that was a contract. Uh -huh. For, for obviously for technology to be, you know, right, right. permitted or, or to be used from 
some principles that have been established years before Nikola Tesla mm -hmm. and Edison was having that, you know, mm -hmm. contractual bidding war mm -hmm. for the uh, 18, was it 1890 Chicago Fair or something like that or something? I, I may be misquoting uh, the year, but I mean, at, at the end of the day, we have everything we need as far as food, clothing, and shelter. It's just that when the gold standard was abrogated, that's really saying that we are dead mentally. Because yes, yeah. we are the gold standard. So, that would be Islam. 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 I like the way you say that. So, like so we got. That's what I'm saying. There is so much. I appreciate yeah. that. Because we really need to hear that. Because that's we have to be self sufficient. Yes. yes. Mr. Speaker, we're now here in Chapter 11. Members of Congress are official trustees pending over the greatest reorganization of any bankrupt entity in world history, the U.S. government. So you can see, congressional records, it's an entity, it's not a country. It's a corporate entity. Of course, reaffirmed by the Pope, and of course, those who know, Act of Congress 1871, know it's a private corporation, and those who know it's Morocco, you know, listen to Prophet Noble Draw those who think it's still a country, keep following after Rome and giving up their birthright, which is what we're suffering right now. We are setting forth, hopefully, a blueprint for our future, and there are some who say it's a corner of the report that will lead to our demise. This is the fact that the United States federal government has been dissolved by Emergency Banking Act, March 9, 1933, 48 Statute 1, Public Law 89-719, declared by President Roosevelt being bankrupt and insolvent HJR, House Joint Resolution 192, 73rd Congress, in session June 5th of 1933, Joint Resolution to Suspend the Gold Standard, and advocate the Gold Clause dissolved the sovereign authority of the United States and the official capacities of all United States governmental offices, officers and departments, and is further evidence that the United States federal government exists today in name only. This is a known fact. How come these people ain't telling these people this? They keep telling them that this is a country, don't they? It's a private entity and these, op these operatives are operating in name only. So that means it's a criminal organization, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Now I want you to notice this part and consider when Drew Ali set up the, the old Canaanite temple, right? Now what you see, now gold and silver were powerful money during the founding of the United States of America. That the founding fathers declared that the only gold or silver coins can be money. In America, since gold, now you already know uh, um, connotatively that can be uh, grammatically corrected, but this is from the congressional records. Since gold and silver coins were heavy and inconvenient for a lot of transition transactions, they were stored in banks, and a claim check was issued as a money, pardon me, as a money substitute. And so you see that the original certificates are claim checks. Mm -hmm. You understand now people think that other instruments on top of the fiat is checks. They don't even know the financial system. Yeah. Or, and as soon as they call at money, they just let the street walk up again. Mm -hmm. Now, <clears throat> people traded their coupons as money or currency, quote unquote. Currency is not money, but a money substitute. That's translation's counterfeit. Redeemable currency must promise to pay a dollar equivalent in gold or silver money. Federal Reserve notes make no such promises and are not money. A Federal Reserve note is a debt obligation of the Federal United States government, not money. Now see what the Pope's telling you? And what they're trying to tell you, that you are a U.S. citizen and the debt is yours. You're not a U.S. citizen. That's right. You're a Moroccan. 
You understand? Mm -hmm. U.S. is the corporation that's been occupying, and they're trying to convert their debt on you. That's why Drawley set the old Canaanite temple to restore your estate. And you were misclassified so they couldn't convert their debt on you. So the Pope is telling you that you have no debt, isn't he? He owns the corporate mm -hmm. entity. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, they got a civil war going on, and they got rebellion in the ranks. So would you have corruptors within the corrupt mm -hmm. that are trying to maintain the corruption? Yeah. We Meanwhile, the Grand Chief's been sitting on your butt all this time when this will be enforcing the law. Mm -hmm. there's ever a time Pretending to love no Drawley. <laughs> while the people are suffering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. While the Manchurians step in. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So it is essential that we comprehend the distinction between real money and paper money substitute. One cannot get rich by accumulating money substitutes. One can only get deeper in debt. Now you see why all the so-called wealthy black men always go to the grave broke? Because it's private commercial paper and they claim they're private commercial paper. So they use their energy, then they kill them all, take all the contracts, and take all the energy. That's what they did to all of them. That's what they did to Mike. Yeah. That's what they did to Red Fox. That's what they did to Sammy Davis Jr. Whitney Houston. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And her daughter. They got her killed. Mm -hmm. they did, it was going to Prince. That's why Prince mm -hmm. had to use that symbol. <coughs> yeah. Because he even owned the name. Mm -hmm. These people do not understand the financial system. But I want to go down to this. I want you to pay attention to dates. And as we talked about before, Brother Franklin yeah. and others, right? The U.S. Congress had passed a law making it illegal for any legal person, quote unquote, to duplicate a joint stock trust in 1873. Mm -hmm. You got to remember, it's two years after they set up the, uh, they set up the Act of Congress. And this is where they convert their private corporation as a person and then convert your debt to it. You see, the Federal Reserve Act was legislated post facto to 1870, a year before the coup, before the Act of Congress 71, see that? Although post facto laws are strictly forbidden by the Constitution. See? Now, let's go down. And, and keep in mind, when Drawley set up the old Canaanite Temple for the restoration of your estate. Now, let's look at here. Look at this right here. Prior to 1913, when did Drawley set up the old Canaanite Temple, y'all? 1913. 1913. So before 1913, is which what prior means, prior to 1913, most Americans owned clear allodial title to property. So how come the Moorish Americans don't know about allodial titles? But yet they're going to tell you about when Drawley set up the old Canaanite Temple and the restation of the state, and then they got deeds and mortgages and don't know that them grand sheets will take them mortgages and convert them back to allodial titles prior to 1930, uh, 1913. If not, it's state property. And it's cheated. No, they busy criticizing Taji guy. <laughs> so prior to 1913, most Americans owned clear allodial title to property free and clear of any liens or mortgages until the Federal Reserve Act, 1913, hypothecated all property within the federal United States to the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve in which the trustees, stockholders, held legal title. The U.S. citizen tenant franchise, that's what they are, franchisees, was registered as a beneficiary of the trust via his or her birth certificate. See what, see what all Delano Roosevelt did, Belt did in 33? Mm -hmm. See, so Drawley crashed both of them. Yeah. Do you understand? Now you see these corporation papers, 1925, Drawley set, set up the civic organization. 1925, they countered with this. They made another shell. And these people act like they don't know what Noble Drawley did. Scholars do. And y'all should do understand that these people are, are traitors against the prophet. They just hold them seats. And y'all ain't, ain't, ain't unseated them. So you're suffering. Yeah, we have to unseat them. Can we add it to Mm-hmm. Now, so? Yeah. So the birth certificates are bank bonds, aren't they? What you don't know is also the master certificate and your driver's license are also bank bonds. 
He's going to give birth to birthright on all fronts. So the Federal of the United States and hypothecated all the present and future properties, assets, and labor of their quote unquote subjects or 14th Amendment US citizen. Mm -hmm. Now remember the letter from the Charles B. Affairs? Moors lost their nationality only by being naturalized. Is that 14th Amendment? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. See how they're converting your debt, their debt debt to you? And see how things can be documented and people who can't read don't even know what they're damn reading. So what has happened to these people who have been passive about this thing, thinking Drew Ali just talking some kind of spooky religious stuff? They've been negligent and lost their estate, even though it's been restored. Again, which is why we must reinstitute constitutional court. Are we clear? Clear, huh? Clear. Clear. And see, if you the people reinstituted, then them grand sheets and system grand sheets ain't got no more excuses. Plus, Drew Ali said, I pulled the cover off of all secret organizations. Now you have no more excuses. So stop making them. And take responsibility. Now we're clear. Clear, sir. So now, if you got in your possession some dead pledge that claims ownership, dead pledge is the definition of what's called mortgage. Mortgage means dead pledge. Contract is dead and your body is the pledge. It's hypothecated. So as you can see, it's documented that prior to 1913, those mortgages didn't even damn exist. They were all over the titles. Are we clear? Clear. So is it your responsibility to enforce the law? Yeah. What occurs if you don't enforce it? You can get treated anyway. It's called, yes, it's called Black Code. And you give the European mandate. Are we clear? All right, is there any other questions? Now keep in mind, those of you at the study class, this is on there, so you have it. Do the research. And all these things are on there. Black law from one to seven. The ICD that gives you an example of, of a trust and a state and an colonial title gives you a, a concept of it. And you can build your own. The apostolic letter from the Pope, Executive Order 12, 803, General Education Board with, with um, John D. Rockefeller, Secret Treaty of Verona. And before we close out, we're going to Congressional records to show you your clergy who you be thinking love Jesus and everything, and show you who they really worship. And here's their secret. This is their the clergy's oath. And read this together, y'all, because we're getting ready to close out. Article three. Convinced that the principles of religion contribute most powerfully to keep nations in the state of passive obedience which they owe to their princes, the high contracting parties declare it to be their intention to sustain in their respective states those measures which the clergy may adopt with the aim of ameliorating their own interests, intimately connected with the preservation of the authority of the princes and the contracting parties join in offering their thanks to the Pope for what he has already done for them and solicit his constant cooperation and their views of submitting the nations. Now I want to ask a question, and I want you all to be honest. Does P O P E spell Jesus? No. No. You got more letters. No. Are these clergy delivering these people, submitting them to Jesus, or is he submitting them to the to the Pope? Wrong. To the Don. And as you can see, they're in contract, aren't they? Yes. 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 So they got a secret pact that they ain't been telling you, haven't Yes, they? that's right. So now you see why they got no conscience asking these people for tithing and mm -hmm. asking for $60 million airplanes mm -hmm. and $3,000 suits and all this stuff and telling you they're giving Jesus this half. Mm -hmm. And y'all keep on feeding them. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you want to marry their own interests. Their own And you're in poverty, your family's all broke up, and you're funding your own enslavement, like Harriet Tubman said. Yeah. But well, we keep claiming we know Jesus and everything. And they're worshiping the Pope, thinking they're worshiping Jesus. 
with the help of their Negro black leaders. And that must be qualified. Do you understand? Practice. Now, this congressional reference for anybody who, who thinks we're making this stuff up. Yeah. And that's why Prophet Nobudrali said, what? Them preachers are going to be the last ones to come in, but they're coming in too. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. everything they got is going to be taken. Good. Good. They're not going to be able to fake this stuff anymore. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They're going to be running soon. <laughs> they're going to be running soon. Any more questions, y'all? Do you understand it comes to the court? Comes to the court. Eisenhower. Eisenhower was settled down in 1956. Now, and so what was supposed to be done then in the Morris Science Temple of America that was already set forth, they were supposed to become openly active and start enforcing the law. Right. Mm -hmm. Act 1 of the Morris Science Temple of America. Chairman and moderators, what? They're putting power to do what? And make uh, law and, make law enforce, and enforce, enforce laws. laws. What does Raleigh tell them to do? Help them in the missionary work of forcing what? The Constitution. Constitution, that was yeah. the Supreme. Have they been teaching Constitution law? No. That's Have they been enforcing this Constitution? No. Now wars are in trouble, aren't they? Yes. yes. And, that's and Rome is taking all of your stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's cheating. And so what happens is people start arguing in frustration and, and, and arguing what to do and making up stuff how they feel, like right. just pray on it. Right. Yeah, they're praying, P-R-E-Y, ameliorating their right. own interests. Yeah. They ain't working for the prophet, and they ain't working for Jesus, and they ain't working for Muhammad. They're working for themselves in Rome at your expense while we've been sitting around playing belief systems. I think that much should be evident to all of you. So I suggest to you, and, I, and I'm and i not asking you, just appealing to your intelligence, mm -hmm. study mm -hmm. yes. and help prepare to reestablish council of courts. And we know that most of them people called grand sheets are not going to do their job. So you better start to. protecting yourself and your families. They just figureheads. Yeah, because they, they know they're not figureheads, they're called suppressants. Mm -hmm. And a suppressant is a person who takes a position in office that's supposed to be serving the people, they're really serving their own interests, and they're blocking people from developing, therefore making them victims, while getting kickback payments from the very Romans that they're supposed to be delivering these people from. Mm -hmm. That's what they've been doing, and nobody's been calling them on it. Well, I'm calling them on it. All right. Yeah? And they're angry at you. <laughs> and I'm showing documents to prove that they're mm -hmm. coming to the properties. They be and I don't care if it. they like Todd, you guys or not. We, love we know you don't. We love it. We tell them. We tell they, them you they, don't care. As much as they are going to do the love back. I'm going to defend the property and the movement go. to the end. But I'm going to defend it with facts, That's not right. with beliefs, right. and not with right. bias. Right. And love. And yeah, love. Right. Right. And well, you didn't drop Prop Drawley said, go to those who know the law. Yeah. Yeah. And then he tell people draw in and teach law. He mm. is the law man. That's right. Right. And man is mine. They can hate him. We can we can love it all. We can love it away. He is the law man. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Once they throw hate at him, we throw the love away. We practice the practice. They also said, that's a porn, not me. That's right. That's right. Anyway, you all, thank you all for coming out for the House of Reawakening Minds. Thank you, Dr. Nayila, for maintaining the integrity of the house. Do you want to share with us a poem or something? Or update us on something? There's a Morris Mart tomorrow. Huh? There's a Morris Mart tomorrow in Philly. Is it March? March. Mart. A Morris Mart. You know, you can. Tomorrow? Yeah, you can get a table, and if you want to sell something, you know. Oh, uh, what 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 is it uh, nine, It's at um, nine to four, uh, eleventh and Loudon. Up there, yeah, yeah, in, uh, ten notes for a table. Eleventh and Loudon. It's in uh, Logan section. Oh, it's in Logan. Not too far from the. Um, uh, workhouse. Oh, all right, all right.